All right, here we go. So this is going to be the third and final video of the uh, sort of preview for the mage specializations. We already did a frost video. We already did a fire video. If you guys want to go check those out, of course, they are on my YouTube channel. We've talked a lot about, you know, things potentially saving us. So I'm going to use the term there's always hope. And whenever I say there's always hope, that's me referring to Hopefully, you know, the necklace unlocks some sort of abilities and all your Azerite armor unlocks some abilities that really significantly change up your rotation. You know what I mean? Like, not everything's been added into the expansion. In fact, not a lot of new stuff has been added. But whenever I say there's always hope, that's me basically saying, you know, things aren't great right now, but maybe they could be. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go through uh, some of the arcane, um, arcane mage uh, changes. Okay. So the first thing is talents. Now there's actually not a lot different. If we just look at talent changes, it's actually kind of funny. So here are the old arcane mage talents. If we look at the final row, there's overpower, temporal flux, arcane orb, and literally there's overpowered temporal flux and arcane orb, same thing. Uh, the 90 row, you have erosion, unstable magic, nether tempest, erosion over here unstable magic nether tempest they literally just for some reason changed where the icon icons are in the row so um yeah i don't i don't know and then there's ice ward ring of frost chrono shift ice ward ring of frost chrono shift okay stay with me resonance charged up supernova resonance charged up supernova okay and candor's flow ruin of power mirror image Encounter's Flow, Mirror Image, Ruin of Power. Okay. Mana Shield, Slipstream, Shimmer. Mana Shield, Slipstream, Shimmer. Literally every single row is the exact same with the icons moved a little bit. Um, except this one where they put in Rule of Threes. You have Mana Adept, Rule of Threes, and Arcane Familiar. You have Arcane Familiar. Words of power and amplification. So rule of threes, when you gain your third arcane charge, the cost of your next arcane blast or arcane missiles is reduced by 100%. So uh, rule of threes is probably the talent that I'm going to be going with most of the time. Mana adept, while well, you're above 80% mana. Arcane missiles fires two additional missiles. So I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how this plays out in your DPS rotation, but both of them are basically um, to make your missiles a little bit stronger as you manage... Um, your mana and your procs so aside from the level 15 change literally everything else is the exact same except it's moved around now something important to note is we don't have mark of aloneth anymore now i already felt like the arcane mage rotation was very 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 simple your aoe essentially used to consist of you put up mark of aloneth you know and then you spam arcane explosions Spam Arcane Explosions, Spam Arcane Explosion, Barrage. That's your rotation. Arcane Explosion, Arcane Explosion, Arcane Explosion, Arcane Explosion, Barrage. Okay? And before you had Mark of Alaneth, now you don't have Mark of Alaneth. So you lost a button in your Arcane uh, AoE rotation. Um, and then, of course, don't forget when you're running Overpowered, your, 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 your rotation is essentially just this for AoE. Arcane Power... And then this is your rotation. This is the Arcane Mage rotation for AoE right now, okay? It's just one button. You just, in case you didn't notice, it's just literally one button. You just press over and over and over, okay? Now, the single target rotation. Now, I actually just played a dungeon with a mage, and he did the most damage I've ever seen someone do uh, in the beta single target, which was around 30,000 DPS. And when I looked at his... When I looked at his rotation at the end, he only had two buttons used. One of them was Arcane Blast, and the other one was Arcane Missiles. Now, it was just a burst phase, but he literally just pressed Arcane Blast over and 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 over again with Overpowered. Now, after Overpowered's down, your rotation, basically, you know, you'll use your Arcane Blast occasionally use your missiles with your procs and you'll arcane barrage it off so it's basically a three button rotation arcane blast you know arcane blast arcane blast and then you'll get your rule of threes or whatever and you can get your free arcane blast or you can get your uh, free uh, arcane missiles and then you can barrage off now i don't know i'm not, I'm not 
doing the perfect PVE rotation, but it's essentially going to be just a three button rotation. That's it. Your AOE rotation is just two buttons and your single target rotation is just three buttons. Now I, I'm not, I, I'm not someone, actually I am, some, I am someone who complains and I, I feel like both, um, this is something I've said a lot is I feel like both arcane and fire need some additional damage buttons in their rotation. And I, I feel like one of the ways they could do that is, you know, either make another Tempest baseline or arcane or baseline, something else to manage besides just, you know, your two, your three button or your, you know, two button rotation for AOE and single target respectively. Because right now, arcane is incredibly simple. And I, I think it's actually really, really, really boring to play. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be viable. Maybe it'll end up doing a lot of damage. Like I said, the most damage I've ever seen in a dungeon so far is from a arcane mage. And like I said, there's always hope with the new stuff that's going to be coming out. But right now, the the like bare bones for arcane is so dull. It's really, really, really dull. Now, I I, I really can't stress enough that I, I I actually feel like it is essential to both fire mages and arcane mages that they get something else. Like, could you imagine playing a frost mage without frozen orb? Imagine frozen orb was a talent, and instead of picking frozen orb, which is right here, you were forced to pick you know the icy veins talent or like fire. Instead of picking meteor, you were forced to pick kindling to just reset your major offensive cooldown or make your major offensive cooldown stronger. These talents that are just empowering arcane power, they're empowering combustion or making combustion come up faster and they're making icy veins extended. Those talents are really boring in my opinion and that is the best feedback I can give because you should never be put in a situation where you passively pick an offensive cooldown buffer and you lose a really fun rotational ability like arcane orb, like meteor and like frozen orb if frost was the same way um it, it's it's really really bad and I, I want them to make changes to that so much it doesn't even make sense i think it would be way more fun for arcane eat like it, it just it would make it so much more fun if you just had arcane orb or nether, nether tempest just something to manage besides just you know your AOE, aoe rotation literally just being a button now like i said maybe they'll bring back mark of aleneth but the problem is it doesn't really feel, or maybe they'll put in something completely new. Maybe I'm tripping hard, and they'll, like I said, there's always hope, there's always hope, there's always hope, but yeah. Uh, Arcane Mages right now, they seem really, really boring, really, really dull. They're they're the most dull of the three um, specs. Um, like I said, they could still potentially be good, but I, I really, this is, the, this is the spec I'm the most worried about being just incredibly dull, incredibly boring. Um, and so far there's been virtually no changes to the spec whatsoever. Literally, if you look, like, look, the only changes is that the talents got moved around in the row. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully there's some cool stuff coming, but yeah, it, I'm a little scared. There's no, there's no, I don't, I don't look at any of these changes and I'm like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm glad they did that. It's literally just an ultra pruned version of Legion with no Mark of Aleneth, which is really fun. And um, unfortunately, um, yeah, I, I, I'm i really scared because like I said, when I, I see an arcane mage doing the number one damage, which you know people are really excited about, they look and see, oh my God, my mage is doing so much damage, but those numbers don't mean anything if playing it isn't satisfying, it isn't fun, and it isn't like any sort of feeling of reward when you're just pressing one button over and over and over. Like that's that's not a rotation. You know, when, I, when I'm playing my Windwalker Monk, yeah, I'm using, you know, Fist of the White Tiger, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, Fist of Fury, Whirling Dragon Punch, uh, you know, Spinning Crane Kick, Touch of Death, all these fun abilities. And when I play Arcane Mage, your, your, your one shot is just... And maybe occasionally you'll put in like an Arcane Missiles or something like that. But yeah, very simple, very boring. Um, Arcane Mage... Definitely disappointing me right now, but like I said, always hope. Gonna keep an optimistic, open mind, but I feel like I, I needed to be brutally honest with you guys. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, like I said, if you want to check out the Fire and Frost one, they're a little bit less grim. Um, they are in previous videos. I'm also going to be doing this for uh, both Windwalker and Mistweaver because I've been playing those. So if you guys are interested in those classes or specs, that's coming. Thanks.